We are back making more locally friendly treats with one of my favorite local treats, Tinky Weisblatt. Hi, Tinky. And Tinky, before we get started with these yes. blueberries, you have a performance coming up here. Yes, church. in fact, that's why we're talking about recipes from people who would have turned 100 years old this day, this year, excuse me, mm. because my concert is called A Century of Songs and Singers. So everything I'm singing is either a song that was written in 1918 or is a song that was either written by or popularized by someone born in 1918. It's actually, oh, there's my poster. Look, Look at, at you. me. And I know I love the person who likes his blueberry recipe, right? Oh, who? absolutely. This is my mother, not actually a famous singer. I'd say so. Well, I, she would have said so. Well, there you go. That's but we're people. singing a couple of her favorite songs because she would have turned 100 this year. Well, there you go. Happy uh, birthday to Tinky's And mom. the actual date, the 25th, next Saturday, is Leonard Bernstein's 100th birthday. And some people will go to Tanglewood. But some people will come to see me. In and fact, my pianist wanted, was going to go to Tanglewood, and then he said he'd rather be with me. Oh, we appreciate that. I'll be well, more fun. Let's get to uh, something let's get tasty. To our what, what are we making, Tinky? So this is a, a coffee cake my mother loved to make when the little tiny baby blueberries come into season, which they're in now. And she called it Blueberry Sally Lunn. For those of you in the know, don't write in. I know it's not a Sally Lunn. A Sally Lunn is actually a, a yeast bun. Um, that was popularized in Bath, England, but she called it Sally Lund, so who are we to... Well, Tiggy, at yeast you explained it. At least I, at yeast I did. So, I'm starting with butter and sugar, surprise. Okay. And they're looking kind of ready. So how do you know when they're ready? They just... They're, well, well, the butter blended. was at room temperature, so it's nice and soft, and they've kind of fluffed together. We're going to add eggs and they'll be even more fluffy. First, while you're pushing in an egg, so I'm, I'm just cracking and put it in there? Yeah, okay. I'm going to push down the batter so it mixes with the egg. Okay, then I'll mix that one, and then we'll mix the next one. Okay, so you go one at a time. Yeah, it makes them mix in better. And these are, of course, farm fresh eggs, so they're going to make it nice and yellow. Okay, you you want me to turn it off while you do it? You... It's up to you. I don't know how much you trust me. I trust you, Dan. No one knows my culinary skills more than you do, Tinky. Well, well we have I cooked together for yeah, a little while now. Yeah, every couple weeks for a unit. You've watched me grow. You've trained me. I'm your oh, grasshopper. Oh, well, on. little grasshopper. Okay, let me push it down again. While I'm pushing it down, you can grab the baking powder and the salt, which are in little dishes. I'm just and all of the exact proportions will be on the website, of course. There you go. There we Throw go. Okay. There's a lot of mixing. It is, but it's about to come to an end. Okay. I, I you know, I feel bad because not everyone can see inside the bowl. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's important stuff. I think we could use a hand mixer another time. Okay, now, this is the next thing. We're adding the flour and the milk alternately. And when you do that, you always start with the flour and end with the flour. Oh, okay. So you're going to put flour in a little flour. The process. Okay, the so flour, it's to kind of make it the right consistency. How, how much am I adding? Oh, I would add like at least a good third of that. Oh, okay. okay. I, just, I saw the spoon in there, so I assume this was a spooning No, adventure. I just couldn't find a bigger spoon. Okay. Okay. Now do milk? Uh, now I stir that in, and that's, you can add about half the milk. Okay. okay flour. Now do flour. I'm going to turn it off because otherwise the flour could go whoo! You know, we have our mass appeal aprons, but I don't want any whoo! going on in here. Well, so and also your that. apron, because you're so tall, you, you don't want your... Yeah, it always looks like a dress on me, yeah. right? It... Well, I mean, it's better than my apron, which doesn't adjust so well. Okay, let me just push down. Should I put the rest of the yes, flour Yes, you in? may put the rest of the flour in. Okay, there you go. Thank you. I'm sorry that people can't see this. No, 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 it's okay. It's we're... a very big mixer. They trust us. You uh... can trust us that we're putting in the flour. Then, once the flour is in, you're going to grab the blueberries. Oh, okay. Now these are nice and small. I'll tell you know from the New England These kind. are the little blueberries from Heath. They have better juice. Or Maine, but in our case, Heath is a lot closer than Maine. Mm -hmm. So the, go ahead and dump them. I know someone who does love blueberries very much. That's my co-host, Lauren Zenzi. I'm going to bring her in to join does. us. She's, blueberries are a superfood. All, all of them? All of these, oh, yes. Lauren, well, is blueberries? I mean, the recipe says one cup, and you can tell that this is more than one cup. You know what? How quick well, do you have too many blueberries? We know and Tiki, unfortunately, we are running out of time. So let's tell everyone how long we want to put this okay, in the oven Okay, we're going to pop this in a pan. We're going to cover it with brown sugar and a little cinnamon. The oven will be preheated to 350, and that's the final result. About 50 minutes in the oven. And why don't you guys slice a little while I finish Shall mixing? I slice you a piece? Please. All right. While I 